taking Shiva Shakti with five deep breaths. नाना रूप विधाता 
So in the previous two shlokas, Shankaracharya has guided us regarding how to purify the body, punyaha. And next, how to purify and fill the whole mind and body with Shiva by churning the Vedas like they churn the milky ocean. So in that Pauranic episode, so many precious things emerged like Amrita, Soma, Kalpataru, and then uh, Surabhi, Chintamani, and Rama, that is Lakshmi, who is Nirantara Saubhagya, Rama. So here, when they churn the ocean of Vedas, churning the ocean of Veda, one is getting Shiva, the pure consciousness, Shiva, Brahman, Parabrahman, as Amrita, Soma, Kalpataru, Surabhi, Chintamani, Nirantara, Rama, Sopakya. In next verse, Shankaracharya is describing how he feels one who has churned that Veda, the essence of Veda, one who has consumed in the form of Shiva in their heart, how he feels. So for that, he has used Rupakalankara, where there is direct comparison of two things. Shiva, who is rising in the mind as the ocean, is compared with Soma, that is Chandra, who rises from the ocean. And both are the two visions which are described in the same words and the sentence. So, the words will be one, but it can be visualized, it can be interpreted, it can be understood, it can be experienced as two visions. Chandra, moon versus Shiva, who are rising from the ocean. <clears throat> Prak punya chala marga dashita. First, let us take um, Chandra. Prak punya chala marga. Prak means eastern direction. In the eastern direction, 
Punyachala Marga. Achala is the mountain. Mountain which is called Punya. Because it is Himalayan mountain which is Punya Bhumi. Punyachala. Marga. That moon rises. Darshita, he can be seen. In the path of eastern mountain, which is Himalaya. Just visualize it as you are listening to the description of this verse. Prag Punyachala Marga Darshita Sudha Murtihi. Moon who is pure white, who is very pleasant, calm, enchanting. Sudha Murti. Just looking at him, Darshita, just looking at him makes us get enchanted. And he is showering that Amruta. Prasanna. And he is charming, beautiful, joyful. Because he is joyful, even the seers Mind is also joyful. Prasanna. Shiva. And he is auspicious. Soma. Moon, who is called as Soma. Sadgana Sevito. That is, he is served by Sadgana. That is, the stars in the sky. Innumerable stars are around. Chandra, who are all serving. Mrugadhara, and he is having the sign or the mark or the figure of the deer, Mruga, in his Sudha Murti. In that we can see that, which is small blemish-like thing, which gives rise to the figure of the deer. Purnaha and his full moon. Tamo Mochakaha, one who destroys tamas, that is darkness. What else is needed when we have that full moon light? Tamo Mochakaha. Chetan Pushkara Lakshita. Pushkara, it is a lake. Chetaha, mind as the lake, in that he is seen, Lakshitaha. He is seen in the lake of the mind. Pushkara Lakshita. Bhavati Chedananda Patho Nidhi. And that Chetaha is Ananda Patho Nidhi. That is ocean. It is like ocean of ananda. When we are looking at enchanting, auspicious, clear, calm, pleasant moon, full moon, naturally the mind is filled with ananda, which is like ocean, limitless ananda. Pragalbhena vidrumbhate. And because of that ananda, which is like ocean, looking at the moon, it is rising up, it is swelling up with lots of waves in it. So, looking at that moon, the mind, which is the ocean of ananda, which is limitless, is swelling up. Sumanasam Rittistada Jayate. And in the mind of the good minded people, Rittistada Jayate, looking at that full moon, the thoughts, Vritti, keep. Coming one after another. 
isn't it? The minute we see the moon, the mind just gets transported to some other world which the mind is creating. And the thought will be connected with moon and one thought will never stop. Chains of thoughts will come to the mind. Sumanasam vrittistada jayate. So many thoughts keep emerging. So it's a beautiful vision to have. Next, when we take it as Shiva, Prak Punya Chala. Prak in the earlier Janmas, earlier. Prak also means earlier. In earlier Janma, one who has acquired Punya as mountain, the mountainous Punya acquired earlier. That punya, margadarshita, it is guiding, it is showing the path to see Sudha Murti, that Shiva, who is pure white, crystal clear, pleasant, calm, charming, Sudha Murti. Shiva. Shiva, one who is auspicious. Somaha. Sa Uma, one who is with Uma. Somaha. So he is in the company of Uma Shakti. Satgana Sevita, one who is served by. Good-minded people. Good-minded people means one who has churned the mind to such an extent that all the badness in them has receded. And that person is with good mind. So that mind is always going towards Attaining that Shivatva. So, Sadgana Sevita, Mrugadhara, and he is holding deer in his hand. Purnaha, Shiva is Purna. Because consciousness is Purna, because that Purna consciousness, Shiva, has pervaded and penetrated the whole manifestation. He has given, showered that Purnatva on each and every bit of the whole world. Purnamadha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachit So like that, we have inherited that Purnatva Everyone is complete. Every creature, every plant, every rock, everything is Purna by itself. Why? Because of this Purna, who is Shiva. Prasanna, he is Prasanna. He is joyful. He is calm. He is pleasant. Shiva auspicious. So Maham Sadgana Sevito Mrugadara Purna Tamo Mochaka. He destroys the Tamo Guna, that is Tamas, which is causing darkness or ignorance. That also he is destroying. Cheta. Pushkara Lakshito. Pushkara here is the lotus flower. 
the blue lotus flower. That lotus is Chetah, the heart, the lotus of heart. They Lakshitaha, Shiva is seen. He is experienced. Bhavati Chedananda Patho Nidhi. And because of that, the heart swells up with so much of joy, which is like the ocean. It will be filled with ocean of joy, the bliss of having that Shiva within, who is Purna, Prasanna, Soma, he is along with Shakti. Chetah Pushkara Rakshito Bhavati Chedananda Patho Nidhi. It is like a wealth of Ananda Sagara, which we all can have it within ourselves, in the heart, and enjoy it all the time. When we think of that Shiva, that Shiva is within me. I am that Shiva. So that Ananda has no limit. It is like ocean. Pragal bhena vidrumbhate. And thinking and seeing, visualizing that Shiva in that pushkara, in that lotus of heart, naturally that Ananda Sagara keeps swelling up because it is seeing Shiva who is rising in the Pushkara. Sumanasam in the mind of those good-minded people Prithistada Jayate, the chain of thoughts, which is as one sutra, as one thread. It keeps going on and on and on, on Shiva, who is Soma, who is with Shakti. So the same words are giving two meanings. <clears throat> when we are referring it to moon, moon is auspicious because he is taking care of the mental health, the emotions, and many of the herbs, medicinal herbs, also grow in that moonlight. And it gives ananda which is beyond the world, beyond the world. When we are enjoying the Purna Chandra, no doubt we become one with it, but it is without any attachment, without any attachment. We will be purely enjoying the moon and his light and his Sudha Murti, the form without any attachment. So that is, we are enjoying pure beauty, Saundarya, with pure love, without any attachment. So, Chandra is giving us that beyond the world experience through the vision. That is why he has put at the end, Sumanasam Prithistada Jayate. That vision of Purna Chandra, the two on Prapunyachala Marga. Suddenly, mm -hmm. Hope you can hear me. Mm. So when we are having that vision of Purna Chandra, one is naturally 
becoming pure, joyful, and bliss, ananda. It is not just the sukha or santosha, but it is ananda. And uh, when we take it as Shiva, he is very much available. He is very much available. Only thing is, our mind should be receptive of visualizing that Shiva very much within us. So what I understand from this shloka, how I take it, how can I personalize it and see how I can draw the real message what Shankaracharya is imparting here. If the same words, same words, are giving rise to two different visions in the mind, which is one. What can we understand? Mind is one. It visualizes according to its karma, vasana, Pravritti and it creates its own environment, life and world and enjoys. So the my words are same, the objects around are same according to our karma, vasana, we are seeing the words in different, different ways. So mind is one. It is that mind which has to be turned well to visualize what is available in front of us. So the objects might be one. It is a one and the same object. But within a person, from time to time, from environment to environment, the vision of that object can change. Or from person to person, it can change. But it is the one and the own same object. How beautifully Shankaracharya has given us the chance to visualize. Both are beautiful. Both are beautiful. Visualizing Chandra. Visualizing Shiva. Who are giving the mind to experience that Ananda as Sagar. Actually, ga gazing moon is also one of the meditations which is followed very strictly. And uh, people who have crossed 80 years in their life, um, Sahasra Purna Chandra uh, festival is done to them. It is one of the, what should I say, ceremonies which they follow, which they perform. So this shows to what extent Chandra is very much part of human beings. धर्मों में चतुरंग भी कहा 
सुचरित पापम विनाशम गतम काम क्रोध मदादयो विगलिता काला सुखा विष्टिता ज्ञानानंद महोषधि सुफलिता कैवल्यनाथे सदा मान्ये मानस पुंडरी कनगरे राजावतम से स्थिते मान्ये वन हु इज वर्शिपेबल अडोरेबल हु इज रेस्पेक्टेड शिवा मानसिक मानस पुंडरीक नगरे मानस पुंडरीक दट इज the lotus of heart it is like the kingdom nagara you can say capital manasa pundarika nagare pundarika is the lotus flower rajavatam se sthite rajavatam se one who is the king greatest king of all kings when he is sthite when he is established who is kaivalya natha one who gives bestows the moksha the liberation sada on the time what will happen what is it dharmo me chaturanghikah that dharma with four legs will be the throne on which the raja is shiva is sitting sucharita and it is well followed dharma is well followed because of which papam vinasham all the sins are destroyed गतम काम क्रोध मदादयो विगलिता दे ऑल बिकम वीक एंड दे आर डिस्ट्रॉय व्हाट आर दे ऑल द अरिषट वर्ग काम क्रोध मद मत्सर मोह दिस आर ऑल द नेगेटिव क्वालिटीज विच आर बिल्डिंग अप द accounts of papa so all those will be destroyed kalah sukha vishkrita and the time is past even the negative situations in life the time which is negative even that will be passed off with ease sukha with ease jnanananda mahaushadihi suphalita jnanananda mahaushadihi jnana ananda as the greatest medicine because of that suphalita ha there is lots of crops coming up crop in the sense all the needful things suphalita it it will be there so what can we understand by this when there is raja king naturally there is some kind of rule law harmony discipline among the subjects as well when there is no king to guide them properly the life the society the world everything becomes a chaos here each one of us are having 
our own Manasa Pundarika Nagara. We are building a kingdom within ourselves, which is the lotus of heart. They, Rajavatamsa, the king of kings, that is Shiva, is strongly established who makes us follow Sucharita, follow the Dharma as have, having four legs because of which Papa is destroyed. The negative qualities Arishad Varga are also destroyed because of which the time spent as life span will also be filled with joy because the negativity has gone and the situations even if it comes from outside the mind is free to tackle it easily and because of this king who is there within me in that kingdom pundarika nagara manasa pundarika nagara he is giving the maha aushadi greatest medicine jnana and ananda sukhalita which are abundant and the experience of the jnana and ananda will also be abundant and he is kaivalyanatha he is the one who is giving us the kaivalya pada the last last point before the total mukti which one experiences so it is like i will say about the kaivalya natha kaivalya pada if you are a swimmer you will uh, you would have gone through this experience when we climb up the diving board we take the help of so many steps and also the board and also that springy movement of the board till there we have the support once we leave that board and before we touch the water that in between experience is kaivalya pada because you are not there you are nothing you don't have any other support you you are just there but you very well know that the very next moment is nothing but what hitting the water that water is that moksha so that experience diving from the diving board until you touch the water so he is the natha shiva is that natha of kaivalya so when he is there with me all the 24 hours throughout the life span how i will be enjoying that kaivalya pada and then enter the water or ananda sagara and you are not there as another entity but you have become that ananda kaivalyanatha and what is the chaturangrika the four legs they are satya the truth satya shaucha the cleanliness of both 
body, physical body as well as the mind. Anthak karana, shaucha. Daya, the compassion. And dana. Charity, just giving dana with lots of love without uh, putting any tag on it or any attaching string to it. Just give, give, give. Dana. So these are the four legs of dharma. So when we make Shiva as the king and when he is established within me. Naturally, dharmo me chaturangrika sucharita. All these four will be automatically, naturally followed because of which Papa and Arishadvarga will be destroyed. Kalah Sukha Avishkritah. The darkness in life, it keeps coming because this is the world where we are living is with multiplicity and duality. Even though the individual is very pure, there are things coming from outside. But because of this dharma with me, and the Raja is Shiva, who is sitting very much within my lotus of heart. I will have the capacity to move with the time, Kala, with ease, with ease. So, what we can understand in this is making Shiva as a permanent king in our heart is the need of the time. Mm. Vacho ghatena kavita kulyopa kulyakramaihi anitaishcha sadashivasya charitam bhorashi divyam rutaihi hrutkedara yutascha bhakti kalamah Sāphalya mātan vati Durbhikshan mama sevakasya Bhagavan vishvesha bhītit kutah So, with the support of the previous verse, if one lives in that way, how to do it, how to follow it is given in this verse. How to follow it, how to follow the Dharma, how to make the life go smoothly. What is the trick? He is telling it in this verse. So this verse is really, really important. If we can Follow it. Dhiyantrena. Dhiyantra. Dhi means the intellect, the intelligence. It is like a yantra. It is like the machine, the instrument. So they will have the pulley. Um, while uh, drawing the water from the well, they will have the circle wheel. That is dhiyantra. One should have the intellect sharp and smooth. It should be oiled well. Vachoghatena. 
and the words of pot. What is the pot? The words. Vacho ghatena. Dhi yantrena. Vacho ghatena. Kavita kulyopa kulya. Akramaihi. Ani taishcha. The water which is drawn, which is brought, is channelized through sub channels and main channels like Kavita. Because the words of part are used, that is serving as water to fill the channels as Kavita. Kavita Kulya Upakulya. Kulya is um, the main channel and sub channels will also be there like different kinds of poetry. Ani Teshcha Sada Shivasya Jaritam Bho Rashi Divyamrutaihi. So, what is the water? The pot is the words. The words of pot is filled with water. What is that water? It is Divya Amruta. It is divine and nectar like. Because Sada Shivasya stories and the charita, the glories of Sadashiva is serving as the Divyamrita water which is flowing through different channels and sub-channels as Kavita. Got it? So, words are the pot. It is filled with Sada Shiva's Charita, which is Divya and Amrita. How to reach it to the whole world? Through scriptures. So, Kavita is used as the channels and sub-channels. Hrit Kedara Yutascha and that water is also put in the well cultivated field, which is Hrit, my heart. So, heart is well cultivated, well cultured, so that Sada Shiva's Charita will enter easily and it stays and it will have lots of effect. Supalita. It will become fruitful. Bhakti Kalamaha. Kalamaha means the seeds. What are the seeds? What will I put? What will I cultivate? As crop. Bhakti. Bhakti as the seed. Visualize Visualizing this scene is very important to get the essence of what Shankaracharya is telling us. So, Hrut Kedara Yutascha Bhakti Kalamaha Sabhalya Matan Mate and they reap the fruit the crop which is in abundance. Durbhikshan mama sevakasya mama sevakasya in me who is your sevaka Bhagavan where is the bhiti the fear of durbhiksha the famine When you are there as Vishwesha, 
Vishwa is this whole individual. In me, Vishvesha, you are the one who is there. And the field is well cultured and well cultivated. And the seed is bhakti. And not only that, the water I am pouring is also Divya Amrita, which is Sada Shiva's glories. See how beautifully he has told Sada Shiva. Sada Shiva is the eternal presence of pure consciousness, even during Pralaya, even during the great. Maha Pralaya, the great dissolution. Even at that time, it is only the pure consciousness which is eternally there. And not only that, it is the Sada Shiva, the pure consciousness, is the source of the whole manifestation. And it is the whole manifestation is in that Sada Shiva which is ever-expansive third circuit, Sadashiva. And because it's Sadashiva has pervaded and penetrated every atom of the whole creation, the whole creation is nothing but Sadashiva in one form or the other. So whatever we take, it is connected with that eternal, pure consciousness who is Sada Shiva. And whatever glories we are seeing, what we are experiencing as Jivatmas, the whole manifestation. Plus, all the glories which are glorified in the scriptures, Puranas, as stories, they are all of one and only Sada Shiva. So it has to be Divya and Amrita. That I am putting as water all the time. And Dhi Yantra, without any Abh Abhisheka Priya, <laughs> Shiva. So the water has to be poured all the time. If the pulley is not working properly, drawing the water will be difficult. So there is lapse. So that is also not there. Dhi yantra. Making my intellect also well-oiled, good instrument. Vacho ghata. Vacha. The words as the pot in which the charita is filled and it is given to the whole world as kavita. And because of this, durbhiksha, the great famine, can never come. So where is the fear of that for me? I don't have any fear. There can never be famine. Famine physically for the material food, not food for the thoughts, food for the emotions, food for the intellect. There is no death of it. It is with subhiksha. There is no durbhiksha. So I don't have any fear. This makes us understand to what extent one can handle the situations if we make Shiva as our stable companion in our lotus of heart.
how oh, beautifully shankaracharya has brought in the poetry as part of our sanatana dharma as well as our life and the spiritual connection with uh, shiva hmm and bhagavan bhagavan is called bhagavan because of the six aishwaryas which he has bhaga virtues what he has the list varies so i will read out the different kinds of uh the list which they have given but if you look at each set of six virtues it is complete by itself to think of what perfection can be which is brahman dhyana bala aishwarya shakti veerya tejas this is one set another set aishwarya samagra veerya yash shriya gnana vairagya another set knower of utpatti and vinasha of the whole creation utpatti that is creation vinasha the destruction or annihilation two ends but he, he should be the knower of what is happening in the middle as sthiti what is it agati and gati of all jivatma he knows the coming and going of all jivatmas what is happening in the middle also he knows and he is also the knower of vidya and avidya and another according to bhagavatam aishwarya dharma yashas shri gnana and vairagya so these are all the virtues which will make one being as bhagavan papot pat vimochanaya ruchiraishvaryaya mrutyunjaya स्त्रोत्र ध्यान नति प्रदक्षिण सपर्यालोकनाकर्णने जिह्वाचित्तशिरोंघ्रि हस्तनयन श्रोत्रैरहं प्रार्थितो मामाज्ञापय तन्निरूपय अहम प्राथि आई एम रिक्वेस्टेड बै हूम बै कर्मेन्द्रिया एंड ज्ञानेन्द्रिया to papo papa utpat vimochanaya to destroy the papa sins and then utpata calamities in life to get away from both ruchiraishwaryaya to taste that immortal most precious wealth which is moksha mrutyunjaya to conquer that death stotra dhyana stotra is to recite the pra- pra- praising of shiva who is mrutyunjaya dhyana nati nati is prostrating bowing down doing namaskara pradakshina circumambulance saparya all puja the worshiping what we do alokana to see 
or to see within the mind through the mental eye. Akarnana, to hear the stotras of Shiva. So, what it says is, poetically he is teaching what, what we should be, how one should pray and beg. Papa Utpata Vimochanaya, to get away from the sins and the calamities. Ruchiraishwaryaya, to taste that eternal wealth, for which all other types of wealth are also needed. So that is also included. So all types of wealth. Mrityunjaya, who is the destroyer of death, who has won over the uh, death. For, for him to, to get his blessings, my tongue, Jihwa, is requesting me to recite the Mrityun Jaya Japa, recitation, stotra. My mind, Chitta, is requesting me to meditate, Dhyana, on that Mrityun Jaya. My head, Shira, is requesting me to pay obeisance or to do the namaskara, nati, to mrityunjaya. My feet, angri, is, are requesting me to offer radakshina to that mrityunjaya. My hands are requesting to do the puja, which is saparya. My eyes, Nayana, are requesting me to see you. Nayana includes all the three. Through all the three eyes, Jnana Chakshu as well. They are requesting me to see. My ears, Shrotra, are requesting me to hear about the glories. Akaranana, glories of Mrityunjaya. So this is the case. I have been requested. Prartitaha. I am the one who is requested. So, Ma Abhnapaya, O Mrityunjaya, please ordain me to do all these things. Tan nirupaya, again and again, muhur, again and again, remind me, tan nirupaya, remind me to do this. Maameva maame avachaha. And by ignoring me, by showing your indifference, by not talking, avachaha, don't make me Lose the power of all my senses. Don't make me speechless. So what, did, what does it mean? Who is that Mrityunjaya? He is consciousness. Who is very much within consciousness as the source. Because of consciousness being alert, gracing, bestowing, I am able to do things through all the Jnanendriya and Karmendriya. So if he is indifferent towards me, I will become speechless. I can never hear. I can never smell. I can never say the stotras or I can't do the nati or pradakshina. Nothing is possible. And once that Mrityun Jaya, one who has won over the death in the, in the sense, he is so pure as consciousness. Once we have his grace, automatically the eyes will be seeing everything as nothing but Shiva, Mrityun Jaya. It will be hearing 
everything as stotra. He will be doing nati, pranama, to everyone as Shiva. What a beautiful way of leading life when we have that Shiva and his grace within us. So the mind opens, the mind accepts the whole world as Shiva Maya. And because I am praying and worshipping and loving Shiva to such an extent that I feel like going down, seeing, hearing, everything becomes Shiva, 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 Shiva Maya. So, fill me totally with your grace, which is Shivatva. And once I have that, I will be able to satiate the desires, the requests of all ten Indriyas. Hmm. Next one is a really wonderful one. Gambhiryam parikha padam ghanadrathe prakara udyat guna Stomaschaptabalam ghane briyachayo dvarani dehe sthitaha vidya vastu samruddhihi itya khila samagri samete sada durgati priya deva Mamaka Mano Durge Nivasam Kuru. <laughs> if we are able to follow this, apply this to our life, experiencing the liberation is not far off. So, this verse. We should somehow get it by heart, understand it, visualize it, live it, and leave it to Shiva to take care of us. He, he will do the needed things. So, Durgati Priya Deva, O Deva, Shiva, you are Durgati Priya, one who loves. To stay in the fort, Durga. Durga Atipriya. One meaning is one who loves Durga, who is Shakti. That is one. Another meaning is Durgati Atipriya, one who loves to stay in Durga. What is that Durga? It is not the stony Durga, but Mamaka Mano Durga. My mind as the fort who loves to stay in that fort of Mamaka Mano Durga. Nivasam Kuru, please stay there, reside. Make this as your abode. Because I am giving you that Mano Durga, which is very strong, which is very unique. You don't have to worry about your own safety when you are staying here. That Mano Durga of mine, Mamaka Mano Durga, is very, very strong and stable. I have made it like that. What is it? Gambhiryam Parikhapadam. Parikhapada means the moat, um, the deep 
canal like thing they put around the fort and they fill it with water so that the enemies cannot enter easily the fort so that moat filled with water that moat is gambhirya mano durga's moat is gambhirya the fathomless mind that is so deep fathomless and ghana drutihi prakar dhruti is that strong determination well balanced mind and courage the combination of this is dhruti that too it is not just dhruti it is ghana dhruti intensified intensified determination is serving as the prakara the walls of that mano durga gambhirya first of all the moat when the moat itself is fathomless deep gambhirya it is uh, what shall i say it is combination of calmness pleasantness being firm but not putting off but one is stable gambhirya and that gambhirya can be vast and it is deep quality a person who is gambhirya can face any situation any kind of army with that calmness presence of mind firmness and stability in mind not becoming emotional and react no he will be very calm why and he is grasping the whole situation what it is because of that gambhiryate he is able to assess his own standpoint as well as the enemy's standpoint as well so he has the holistic understanding of the situation gambhirya that is the mood the very first thing is that which is blocking the army which is coming from the other side that army enemy can be the arishad varga all the negative things which cannot enter this mano durga even if by chance anyone is capable of crossing that gambhiryata and enter the wall is very very strong that prakara wall is ghana dhruti ghana dhruti what may come the determination is so strong stable and it is well balanced because of which the army cannot break it and come ghana dhruti then उद्यत गुण स्तोमश्चाप्त बलम ऑल द गुड क्वालिटीज गुड क्वालिटीज गुड नेचर ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड्स 
daya and uh, indriya nigraha satya all these good qualities compassion are serving as stoma chapta bala stoma is the group of good qualities are serving as apta bala the strong army so when we see between himsa and ahimsa ahimsa will have the stronger influence and stronger effect in controlling the army than himsa it, it is it is taking us in a very strong way when we are having that stoma the group of good qualities so this mano durga is having the army of all good qualities which are serving as the great strong soldiers who are closely supporting and protecting that manasa durga ghanendriya chayo dwarani dehe sthitah and in the deha there are indriyas which are like the strong doors the strong doors these doors are not like a spring doors which opens easily and it keeps swaying in and out in and out or which can it is not automatic door the indriyas are the doors which are not automatically opening one has to really push through and these doors are also visible and invisible isn't it think of it indriyas so when i have made these indriyas the as the doors which are very strong the mano durga cannot be entered by any of the objects or any of the desires they cannot attract indriyas are closed the doors are open only when the thought of shiva wants to go when the thought of shiva wants to come for all other things the doors are so heavy that it cannot be opened easily by the enemy vidya vastu samruddhi ityakila samagri samete vidya that is the knowledge which leads me towards the moksha vidya that vidya samruddhi it is there in abundance ityakila sa like this akila samagri sameta with all kinds of helpful accessories and the samagri means the helpful things which are needed to make this manasa durga uh, strong self sufficient beautiful livable and lovable i have everything in that in that durga o shiva nivasam kuru come and stay in that durga manasa durga so just visualize this if you are making the mind protected by gambhiryata gambhirya as the moat the first thing i have to put myself with gambhirya behind that there should be dhruti and 
I should have all good qualities within that Manasa Durga. So they all will come in handy to support me, to lead my life purposefully with bliss. And Indriya, we should not make it automatic doors or the springy doors, easily it can open, easily it can close. It should not be like that. It should be strong door. And Vidya should be in abundance. Dhyana. With all these things, when we are making seat, Simhasana, for Deva, who loves Durga, Durgati Priya Deva, naturally, he will come and stay, reside, because that is where he is comfortable. And he reigns, he rules the whole Vishwa, the whole being. How happy we all will be. And also the army, if we have Sadguna as our army, it is of high values. So that itself makes our life much more enjoyable in a holistic way. Tamitastato Girishabho Mayeva Vasam Kuru Swamin Nadi Kirat Mama Kamadhat Kantara Simantare Vatante Bahusho Mruta Madajusho Matsarya Mohadayan Tan Hatva Mrugaya Vino de Ruchita Labham Sam Prapsyasi So, in the previous one, I have made it very beautiful, strong Manasa Durga. In this one, he is making it double sure that there are no wild animals uh, in the fort, Manasadurka. So, wild animals. Why is he saying that? After all, we are all Jeevatmas. With mind which is moving very quickly from one thought to another, one thought to another. So even if I make my mind very strong, livable for that Durgati Priya Deva, there are chances that Shiva might feel. I am tied up for such a long time by this being in Manasa Durka. Let me go and have a quick hunting picnic. Let me go to the forest. Don't have such desires. Oh, Shiva. No, 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 no. Stay. Vasam Kuru, Mayeva Vasam Kuru, stay in me only. Bho Girisha. He, Girisha, one who is the lord of mountains. He, Girisha, Mayeva Vasam Kuru, please stay in me only, in this Manasa Durga only. I know 
you are adikirata you love hunting i know it but even temporarily please don't go magacha don't go tvamitas tato here and there let me go to this forest let me go to that forest let me go to this forest like that don't try to go here and there to different forests because swamin adikirata the very primordial first kirata the hunter you are that i know it o oh, swamin mamaka manah my mind itself is kantara simantare it is thick dark forest wild forest within me in that thick forest vartante there are many bahusho mruga there are so many animals staying and that too those wild animals are madajisha they are all rutted they are strong and they are wild madajisho matsarya mohadaya which are those animals the arishad vargas matsarya mada moha kama krodha lobha all these are well fed rutted wild animals which are vartante which are all they residing in my mind which is like thick dark forest which is preserving those wild animals so you don't have to go here and there in search of animals for you to hunt stay here tan khatwa by killing those by hunting those animals mrugaya vinoda ruchi ruchita labham get that joy benefit of hunting being here within that manasa durga in the fort of my mind labham cha sampraptyasi and you will get immense benefit and joy of hunting so we should allow shiva to hunt freely once we make that request from the bottom of our heart anthakarana to shiva certainly he will become that adikirata adikirata no doubt shiva has come in the disguise of the hunter in different episodes in purana like to give pashupatastra to arjuna he came in the form of kirata when brahma with bad taste ran behind his own creation saraswati she took the form of deer to escape from him and run then brahma took form as male deer and went behind her then shiva came in the form of hunter to teach brahma the lesson so like that there are different episodes where shiva is recognized as hunter but here shankaracharya is saying you are the adi kirata the ever first first and foremost of course he is the last kirata also how why shiva is that consciousness the very source of 
the whole manifestation. May I become many that came as the first desire in Shiva. And as Adi Kirata, the consciousness, he created so many names and forms and he is hunting every day every minute, every second in this manifested world to hunt the names and forms. Even in Jivatma, he is the Adikirata. Because of that consciousness, Indriyas, the mind, the intellect is hunting for objects of different kinds. Isn't it? I'm running behind the objects, people, thoughts. For all these things, who is the reason? The primordial reason? It is the consciousness. It is the consciousness which is making the indriyas, both Dhyanendriya and Karmendriya. To hunt for objects. Once the mind is totally nullified in a realized person, even for giving moksha, he hunts that mind as the last thing. That's why I said even the last. He hunts that mind and nullifies it and grants moksha. So he is Adi Kirata. Without him, nothing works. That is why Shankaracharya is saying, you stay in my mind. Don't go here and there. Hunt those well rutted animals like mm, the Arishad worker, so that my mind becomes pure. And you hunt the mind itself so that it annihilates totally. And thus I become you, who is Kampani. So from the next one, 44, the chandas changes to Vasanta Malika. Vasanta Malika. Karalatna Bragha Karindra Bhango. Ganeshar Dula Vikhanda knows the gentugu Girisho Vishada Pradish Cheteta Puhare Panjamukhe Sti Mekuto Bhi Karalaknam Ruga. Even here, it is referring the same words and the shloka is referring to both Girisha who is Shiva and also the lion. Panchamukha. Panchamukha is Shiva as well as the lion. Lion is also called Panchamukha. Karalagna Mruga. One who is holding Mruga, the deer in the hand. That is Shiva. When it is referring to the lion, it is holding the deer in his paw. Karalagna Mruga. Karindra Bhango. Gajasura. Shiva killed Gajasura. He tore 
Gajasura. Kariendra Bhango. So same thing with lion. Lion also kills by tearing apart the Gaja. Kariendra. Kariendra is Gaja. Even in dream, the elephant doesn't like to see the dream of the lion. Because of that fear, it dies. So to that extent, Gaja is afraid of the lion. Ghana Shardula Vikhandana Shiva tackled and Khandana he broke or he killed Vyagrasura. He was another Asura, the demon. Ghana Shardula Vikhandana and even lion does the same. Asta jantuhu. And that fear is brought in both all the jantu. Jantu means all creatures are afraid when it is for lion. Asta jantuhu for Shiva. Jantu, all creatures, asta, they annihilate in Shiva. Ghana Shardula Vikhandana, asta jantuhu. Girisho Vishadakritishcha, Girisha. He is the lord of the mountain. Even the lion is also lord of the mountain. Vishadakritishcha. Vishadakriti means one who has the Virat Rupa. Vishadakriti, vast. When lion opens its mouth, that also is Vishada. Vishadakriti. Cheta Kuhare. One lives in the Kuhara, the cave. For Shiva, he lives in the cave of mind, cave of Pridaya, the heart. Pancha Mukhosti. You are that Pancha Mukha, Shiva. And me Kutobi. When that Shiva is in the Cheta Kuhara, in the cave of my mind. Where is the Bhi, the fear? When Shiva, the Panchamukha, who is Girisha, who has Kara Lagna Mruga, one who has having the deer. Karindra Bhanga, one who has destroyed, killed Gajasura and Ganashar Dhula, also Vyagra Asura. And all the beings, all creatures finally end in him only. So when that Panchamukha is very much residing in the Cheta Kuhara, in the cave of my mind. Where is the fear? Me Kuto Bhihi. In the same way, when the lion animal if I make that lion as part of me only, will I have the fear of lion anymore? No. Because it has become me. It is very much within me. 
So this shloka is telling us indirectly, become the whole universe. I am the lime, I am the jira, I am the elephant, I am the water, I am the parvata, I am the tree, I am the pushpa, I am the whole humanity. Vishada Kriti. If I become that, then the most terrifying lion is very much within me as me in my Cheta Kohara. Why will I be afraid of it? I am one with it. So it's a very different kind of dhairya. Uh, patience and acceptance comes when we start having that Shiva within me. All the animals within me. All plants within me. And finally, if we understand it is very much the truth. The whole Vishwa is within me because I am the one who is projecting it. So, even the lion, elephant, everything, even the snake. <laughs> and Shiva is also within me only. I am the whole thing. Vishadakriti. Having everything within me. Kuto bhi when I am the whole universe, where is the fear? Of what fear? There's nothing. Because I'm thinking I'm different from the lion. I'm different from Shiva. I'm having the distance and creating the relation, relationship because of the duality. If I know that Shiva is there within me, if I know that lion is also within me only, there is no need for any fear. I am that lion. So, hmm, that is where this shloka is leading us to. Panchamukha Sadhyo Jata for creation, Vamadeva, sustenance, Tat Purusha, destruction, Ishana, concealing, and Aghora, blessing. So these are the five Panchakritya which Shiva is taking care. So he is called Panchanana, Panchamukha. Om Shiva Shakti Shiva Shakti Shiva Shakti 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 Om 